folks, it's your man, there's the deal here. Always up to some good. If you wonder why I'm looking a little silly, uh, it was it was tacky day at work. So I got my heart shades on, I got my, ooh yeah, is that it? I got my Randy Savage tape on, I got my old wrestling get up, knee pads, even cowboy boots. You can't see that. Man, uh, earlier I had on an ugly sweater to go with. <laughs> I had on a, a daggone cape. I had a staff with it and everything. It was a good time. Uh, but this is, I come to you for a, a different reason, actually. Let me take these silly things off. So, uh, my uncle gave me a book. Let me borrow it. And it's and this, this is for people who are nice to a fault. Now, if you're a certified butthole, I ain't talking to you. You got a whole different set of problems and issues uh, on your own. This is for my people, nice to a fault. Always like to help somebody. The feelers, the overly sympathetic sometimes. Uh, it's a book called How to Stand Up for Yourself. It's simplist simplistically titled. Um, it's, it's more to it than that. It goes into the psychology of what uh, and why people might be acting this way. The reason I present it is because uh, us folks that are nice to a fault, it's a work in progress. We want to help folks. We don't, we don't like to see people in despair, but sometimes it can get to the point where uh, we help too much. And, and people see that and take advantage of it. Start guilt tripping you if you don't. Manipulating you into doing those things. And there comes a time when you have to say, uh, my dad used to say the most powerful word in the English language, and it happens to be the shortest. No. N O. If you can't do it, let them know. We're the, we're the type of people who's like, people ask us and we, we feel bad for saying no. And if we say yeah, um, we're mad at ourselves later because A, we have to do what we said we we're going to do. And B, we didn't, we didn't have a gall to stand up and say, hey, I can't do it. And it does for us, like I said, if you're a butthole already, this ain't your problem. I ain't talking to you. Nice to a fault people. It's a work in progress. And it starts with the small things. If, if you get, get a sandwich at a restaurant and you didn't ask for pickles and mayonnaise, I'm take it back. I know we've seen waiting. You're scared somebody's going to do something to our food. If you, you know, check where you're eating at. Sometimes you got to take a look and be like, this place is probably a little sketchy. I'm just, I'm just eat what they gave me. But if you're at a Cracker Barrel, and they're usually pretty good, but they, they send you some dry grits. Or uh, they, they send you something you didn't ask for, have them take it back and bring you what you need. If you get bad service at a place, you don't just sit there and take it and you tip them anyway. You let them know what's going on. Hey, I didn't appreciate that. You were rude to me. Or hey, you left us sitting here for 30 minutes and we didn't get no water. And we see people over there. They got here after us and they got their salads already. That's not cool, Cindy or whoever your waitress or waiter is. So, it's a good book. I'm not done with it. It's 10 bucks somewhere. Um, I think it's uh, Google Books or the depository.com. You'll find it somewhere. Just Google it. Um, great read. Good read. So, for all my folks out there, man, if you're nice to a fall, be strong. Stand up for yourself. If you can't do it, you tell them. If you don't feel like it, you tell them. If you just don't want to do it, you tell them. You let them know what's going on. All right. Comment, post, subscribe, talk to me. <laughs> Contact me. I'm around. Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Uh, of course, YouTube. Larry Liddell. So, like I always say, maintain, stay up. God bless, peace, and hair grease. See you later.